All right, guys. Somebody in the comments said, you know, that would work way better with an RPM performer. Just happen to have a performer RPM. It's actually my sleeper performer RPM. It flows way better than a stock performer RPM. Now, it's not an air gap. You can see the runners go right to the base. It's got my 770 Holly on it with a K&N snub stack. I'll show you what the plenum looks like because it's modified. Okay, it has modified plenum. It's been fully ported. It has an angle on the divider to feed a little more air to the upper H runners, which is what we're coming out of now. We're coming out of number eight. Why did I pick number eight? Well, number eight is usually the least flowing runner on a design like this. Not always, just seems to be the case. So I figured I'm going to guess that's what I'm going to pick because we've been going against number one on the TPI and uh, we know that's a low flowing number. Number eight is actually a little bit less, but I've got them almost evened up. I still have a little more work to do with them, but I figured this would be a fun, quickie type, quickie for me, quickie type video, right? This should absolutely decimate the TPI, right? 770 carb, big modified dual plane. And it is modified. You know what? I'm going to show you guys my new flashlight. All right, got this at work. It's a really hot little flashlight. Rechargeable, magnetic base. You can see the electrical contact on it. Pretty bright, too. Let's see if we can see something with this. Let's put it in place. Okay. It's a nice manifold. It's got a lot of work done to it. Okay, guys? It's not a joke. On better flowing heads, uh, I did I actually did a video on this manifold a ways back. I think I put them on my World Products heads that flow like over 300. And I think we got like 260 out of this intake. Okay, these heads don't flow quite as much. They're a smaller port. They flow about 270. Well, how much can you expect to lose? <laughs> Even with a fully modified dual plane? Let's find out and see how bad the TPI really is compared to this. We know this will make power just the way it is. Okay? We know. You put this on a street motor and it runs really, really well. It's a very well designed setup. So, let's take a look at our flow sheet. There's work. What a joy. Okay, guys, this is the last sheet you saw. This was light, lightly ported TPI, TPIS base, ASM runners with equalization. I did that little bit of work on the uh, where it was swedged. Ported plenum, ported 58. This row here is going to be performer RPM ported with my 770 car. Now, these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. How do we do? Well, we got plus, plus, plus. Doesn't really surprise me. And negatives everywhere else. Charlie, how is that possible? Obviously, I didn't goof up the TPI too bad if it's beating a very well-ported performer RPM with a big carburetor. Just saying. Do you think this will wind up working on the street? We know this combination works on the street. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, right? That'll make plenty of power. The, 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 the intake by itself stock is good for about 6,500 RPM. Modified like it is, it goes well, well over 7, no sweat. Ask me how I know. How did we do as far as our swirl? Well, the carb has got more swirl everywhere than the TPI. Remember, it's going into the port at a different angle. Okay? Let's take a look at the angle difference. Okay? The upper runner has actually got a really good intersection into the head. I mean, it's practically dead straight. 
where our TPI is really, really low. It goes like this, okay? It doesn't have nearly as good an intersection uh, angle. That's why we were talking about taking some of the roof out of here to give it a little bit more of a turn. We haven't done that yet. And I talked to the customer about it. He says, uh, I don't think we need to do that. It's still on the table. I wouldn't mind doing it. I figured I could do one. If it didn't work out, I could just fill it with epoxy and we'll forget about it. But I have a feeling it will work. All right, let's take a look at some numbers that are important, right? We did 190.5, 187.2, a little bit low, not much, relatively the same, 500, 232.4, 224.6, almost 10, 600, 235.5, 227. So what is that telling us, guys? It's telling us something. Yes, we have shorter runners. Would you like me to measure them? Well, I can do a quickie measurement on them. Yeah, no problem. We figure the ports and the heads are about five inches. So I'll just do a quick measure on that runner and we'll see what we got. All right, the runners measured off the top here, about seven and a half inches. Whereas the TPI, we've got a lot more length than that. It's somewhere around 21 inches long. Okay. Now the reason they did that is that they're, they're looking for the second harmonic. In order for it to do that, second harmonic is also the strongest harmonic, by the way. So you can get the most out of it if you engineer it the correct way. In reality, you can get about 3 PSI boost, like a supercharger. But after the peak, it's starting to work against you. So it's good to keep in mind. But from a strictly flow point of view, this TPI is getting it done. Okay? Will it beat a Victor Jr. on there? Hell no. My Victor Jr. cranks. It's 300 plus CFM. It'll, it'll, it'll way beat this by, by a long shot. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Just to, just to see what we got. But if, uh, if there's a lot of interest, then maybe I'll do it for you guys. In any case, I'm almost done doing the other set of runners. I have not gotten valves for this project yet. All our flows are with old, stock, crappy Chevy valves. I do think we will get gain some CFM out of some nice Manleys or uh, Ferreiras, to be honest. All right, guys. I think I might actually... No, nah, I was going to clean. Not happening. I don't really care if the bench is a mess. Besides, I got more grinded to do, and it is hot. It is 86 in the in the, the garage after one flow... after one flow uh, check. A hot day in the sun, too, so I'm cooked. I'm, it's going to be a short night tonight. In any case, thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you like this. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.